Hey everybody, this is your girl, Mrs. Toy Banks, the world's most satisfied wife. That's right, I'm satisfied. And today, I want to share another reason why I'm so satisfied. You know, I was sitting and I was thinking about all these years that I've been married. I've been married, uh, we are approaching August 31st, will be 24 years. I have been with my husband for a total of 28 years. And I've been married most of my adult life. And so it took me a minute the other day, I was sitting and I was thinking about when I was single. And now that I'm married, what, what's the difference between the two and what's the pluses and what's the negatives? There are some benefits of being single and there's some negatives of being single and the same for marriage. But I remember when I was single, how free I was. I was able to get up and go whenever I wanted to. I was able to work as many jobs. I remember I had three jobs and I, I was not a spender. I, I was afraid to spend my money. So I was just stacking up my money, but I could buy anything. You know, I bought my own car. I was so proud. I saved my own money and I bought my own car and I was able to get up and go anywhere. Didn't have to check in with nobody. Oh, I remember that day. I used to be able to go to the mall and buy anything I want. I didn't have to consider anyone. If I wanted to go out with my girlfriends, if I wanted to go out of town, I could just get up and go. That, well, those were the days. Now that I'm married, I have to consider someone else every time I have a thought. I have to consider when I'm about to spend money, you know, I have to talk to my husband. If I want to do a big purchase, I have to talk to him. We have to discuss it. Same thing with him. You just can't go and buy a thousand dollars anything without discussing it with your spouse. You can't just decide, oh, I'm going to go to Brazil for seven days without discussing it with your spouse. When you are about to go out with your friends, you need to let them know where you're going and when you're going. As a matter of fact, you might even want to tell them ahead of time just in case there were some plans. And let's not even talk about having children. That's a whole nother component, but I'm going to focus on just husband and wife right now. I even, now that I'm married, I I think about how I look even more so before, you know, you can just walk around looking anywhere in the house, you know, but now that you got a spouse, you really want to take care of yourself a little bit better, you know, um, because you just can't walk around the house looking a mess all day. You got to consider that this person wants to look at something good, but when you were single, who cares? It's only you in the house. When I was single, I could go out to eat. I didn't have to cook as much. Why? because it's just me. Sometimes it was even more affordable just to go out to eat than cook something. You know, as I was thinking about that, I started looking at couples today. I'm talking about unmarried couples. And there's some confusion in my head. And I'm thinking, y'all doing this wrong. You're dating too long and you're dating wrong. Did you hear that? You're dating too long, which leads into dating wrong. You wonder why he won't marry you. You wonder why she won't marry you. Oh, it's simple. You're dating too long and you're dating absolutely wrong. And I want to share some things that you might want to pull back because there's a freedom that comes with being single and you're not living, the, you're not enjoying this freedom of living single. Oh, if I was single, the things that I would do. Oh my goodness. You're dating too long and you're dating wrong. Let's start with the first thing. There are couples out there that are doing wife level things and husband level things at girlfriend and boyfriend level. You're confusing the two. Like for instance, you check in, you, I never checked in with nobody when I was single. You checking in with somebody, they got to know everywhere you are. No. See, right now, my husband should know where I am. 
I should know where he is. But when I was single, boy, <laughs> I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> you, I don't, I don't have no chains on me. You don't own me. You ain't running nothing. I don't have to check in with you. Some of y'all are acting like husband and wife. Were well, you checking in all the time? Giving them the, the notion that they have a right to know where you are all the time. No, that's the thrill of the chase. No, you want to know where I am all the time? You're going to have to put a ring on it <laughs> because in the meantime, green time. No, I'll be back when I be back. <laughs> I'll let you know. I'll call you later. You checking in? That's wife level. That's husband level. That's not girlfriend, boo level. Some of y'all want to act like y'all married. No, you're not married. You are single dating. You can call it whatever you want to. Second thing you're doing. There are so many women, so many women dating guys for four, five, six, seven, eight years. And you're cooking for this guy all the time. Why should he marry you? <laughs> He's getting the benefits of your wifehood already in girlfriend level. No, 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 no. Let me tell you when he should taste your chicken. Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, maybe during the 4th of July barbecue, he should taste your ribs. But outside of that, no. I'm not cooking. I'm not cooking for you on a regular basis. Why? That's wife level. You are doing things and there's this demand. And who, 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 who told y'all that y'all got to cook for the boyfriend? Who told y'all? No, you want to pull back on that to let them see. Hey, listen, I do cook chicken. This is how it tastes. But in order to get that on a regular basis, in order to get my macaroni and cheese on a regular basis, you're going to have to put a ring on it. That is, that is wife level. That is husband level. No cooking on a regular basis, lady. Stop it. He only deserves your cooking on a regular basis when he puts a ring on it. Could you imagine? You know, when Eve showed up in the garden, the food was already there. She wasn't cooking before she met him. She wasn't cleaning his house. Some of your, some of the women out here, you're cleaning the man's house. Are you kidding me? That is wife level. I'm not cleaning nothing. If I was single, oh my, I wish I would clean your bathroom, wash your dish. I'm not doing it. You listen, no, 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 that's, that's, that's wife level. Let me move on. Cause I don't have five more. I only got a few more minutes. Another thing y'all doing, y'all are, they are, especially, listen, when you're 16, 17, 18, you've met your high school sweetheart. Yeah, I can understand you dating for four and five years, right? Because you go to college, you take your time, you're young. But you 30, 35, 40, 45, and you dating a man for five years, eight years, he can't decide if you are worth the ring. He can't decide if you are amazing enough to marry. And so what you do, you start going to wife level. There are men out there that doing all types of stuff. Just, you're going to make a, you're going to build a deck for your girlfriend. You're going to buy her a house. Oh, okay. And that's why she left you. I've, I've had men who pour out all of these gifts and then the woman leaves. Why? He, one guy, he didn't even, he, the, the woman wasn't even his girlfriend. He built a deck. He paid for all the landscaping. And then she left to be again with the abusive guy. And he asks why you're doing husband level stuff. Some of y'all are going on vacations together. You're going on vacations together as girlfriend, boyfriend. I can see a mission trip. Okay. Mission trip. Y'all going to feed the hungry, the poor and clothe people. I get it. You going on a vacation. What you doing on that vacation? Are <laughs> you getting a honeymoon suite? <laughs> what y'all going to do in the honeymoon suite? What, what y'all doing? With the honeymoon suite. Because see, I thought as believers that we are saving ourselves to marriage. Because listen, the Bible says flee from the very presence of temptation. You go on a vacation with him. Y'all not getting separate rooms. You know you're not. And when you're attracted to somebody, it's going down. You know you get to kissing, you get to touching, and it's over with. 
You were vacation, going to Brazil, going to Europe, going to Paris, going on cruises together. And that's wife level, husband level stuff. That don't supposed to happen. You're dating too long. You're dating wrong. Pull back from the vacations. In order for him to go on a vacation with you, he needs to put a ring on it. Another thing I've seen that y'all doing as dating couples, even y'all long engagement, y'all been engaged for three years now. He just gave you that ring to shut you up. So now he gave you the ring and now you're investing property. You're, you're investing your money in property with him. So y'all say, well, we ain't ready yet. We, we're not ready. We're trying to get our finances together. We're trying to get this, but yet, your finances are together so much so where you can invest in property and flip houses together, but yet he can't flip out that ring and say, hey, I want to give my life to you. You're dating wrong and you're dating too long. Investment property is marriage level, wife level, husband level. Some of y'all has have even allowed them to have access to your bank account. They know how much you make a year. Why? What? green earth does he have access to your bank account how why does he even know how much you make a year at boyfriend level that is husband level that is wife level no way should they know no way should they know how much money you make in every year how much money is in your wallet what are we doing people and we wonder why they won't marry us i wish i would invest my money in some property with a man who refused to identify me as a great wife. Really? And you wonder why. He's getting all the benefits. Then you say, well, you know, he'll say or she'll say, well, you know, it's no need for us to pay two different house notes or two different apartments. Let's move in together. All righty. So now you really messing up. You <laughs> Now you checking in, you cooking, you cleaning, you going on vacations. Now you're having kids. Now you're building a family, but there's no ring, no commitment, no marriage under God. And then y'all go to church together. You'll go to church together. And y'all claim that this is right. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what y'all doing, but you're dating wrong and you're dating too long. Pull back. That's why they called it courtship. Courting. What happens in a court? We're watching each other. We're asking questions. We're identifying problems and identifying if you're good enough for marriage. We're not investing in property. We're not checking in. We're not cooking dinner every day. We're not doing that. You're dating wrong and you're dating too long. And you wonder why they won't marry you. No. Let me say this to you, ladies, especially women. Women, 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 women. You're worth more than that. You, you got to know that. You are doing that so that you can lock him in. That's not going to get it. He still haven't married you, have he? Though you've been cooking, cooking him food. You've been sleeping with him. You even went and bought him a couple outfits. Helped him buy his car. Put your name on his car. You, you, you co-signed for the car? <laughs> he still ain't married you. You're doing this wrong. And you keep doing this. You keep doing this. If any, if, and, and if we had fathers who was in the home that would protect us and guide us, they would tell us they, they wouldn't even allow us to do this because they know what. Okay, I'm done. If, if that's not enough, I, I don't know what else to say. You are dating too long. You are dating wrong. Pull back. The benefits for marriage is not to be given at girlfriend, boyfriend level. The vacationing, the investing in houses together, 
the moving in with the, each other. You know my how much your money I make. I know how much you make. You know you have you got my bank card. You 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 got my bank card. No. Mm -mm. No. No no no. You're dating too long, and you're dating wrong. And so I pray that you share this video now, so that your friends, your girlfriends, your friends, they'll pull back. Because when you start pulling back on those benefits, he's going to wonder why. And if he leaves because you pull back on those benefits, clap your hands and say, thank you, Lord. I got rid of a fool. I didn't go too far. I didn't accidentally marry a fool because if he's going to leave because you don't cook, because you don't lay with him, because you won't move in with him, because you won't, uh, you won't give him access to your bank account. That's all. Uh, that's called player player mode. <laughs> you be a play. Stop it. I love y'all. I pray that um, this was a blessing to somebody and that somebody pulled back from being a husband at girl, being a husband at boyfriend level or a girlfriend, a wife at girlfriend level. Cut it out, y'all. Y'all better than that. And you are worth more than that. Do this thing right because marriage ain't no joke. So don't marry one. I love y'all. I'm your girl, Mrs. Toy Banks, the world's most satisfied wife in For Better Wife, Better Life. Helping you. Helping you date right today. God bless.